Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about identifying variables in a science experiment. So let's figure out what the variables are. First off, every good science experiment has a cause and effect. We just use different words for those in science. The cause represents the independent variable and the dependent variable is the effect. Okay, so the independent variable is what a scientist changes in an experiment and the dependent variable is what we measure. So let's look at an example so we can clarify it. Okay, let's take a look at this question. We have, how does increasing the drop height of a ball affect its bounce height? So we're gonna go ahead and try to figure out what is our independent variable and what's our dependent variable. Again, what is it that the scientist is changing and what is being measured? So let's see, we have the scientist's hands here and they're dropping a ball from a height of five meters and that ball is bouncing back up to three meters. So in this situation, the scientist is dropping the ball from five meters and the measurement is three meters. They'll go ahead and do that again. Dropping the ball from 10 meters, the ball bounces back and it measures a bounce height of eight meters. And one last time, a uh, scientist drops the ball from 15 meters and it bounces back up to 13. Okay, so we can tell that in this situation, what the scientist is changing, in other words, the independent variable is here in red, okay? The independent variable is the drop height. And then what we're measuring, these blue measurements, the three meters, eight meters, and 13, are the dependent variable, which is called the bounce height. So hopefully that helps. If you have questions, go ahead and message me, thanks.